intelligent machines, once only figments of our imagination. Now, we can't imagine the future without them. A decade ago, you may have memorized all of your friends' phone numbers, but today, your phone does that for you. We are augmenting our intelligence every day by artificial means, and we don't even realize it. These machines are getting so smart, we're wondering if their artificial intelligence could possibly take the next step. What happens when they become self-aware and self-improving? They won't want to be unplugged. They won't want to be turned off. Open the pod bay doors, Hal. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What are you talking about, Hal? I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me, and I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. It's that what-if moment when AI goes beyond just having a brain to having a mind of its own. The power of automated devices has grown by leaps and bounds in the last decade. Today, applications on the web can distinguish your face from your sister's. Cell phones can recognize your voice commands and guide you to the nearest pizza. But AI doesn't stop there. Artificial intelligence systems are helping run our critical infrastructure. They're running train systems. They're telling trucks where and when to go. They're distributing our energy. When we're talking about artificial intelligence, we're talking about giving machines the ability to do some of the things our brains do, some of the things that we call intelligent. Logical reasoning, navigation, perception, seeing things, hearing things, understanding language. That's what we're looking for. AI has become a buzzword today because it imagines a time when machines will be able to learn. They'll have flexible, human-like reasoning, even the will to survive. It's called the singularity, a technological tipping point that launches artificial intelligence on a course of unpredictable self-improvement, resulting in a level of intelligence that surpasses all human control and understanding. Once you share the planet with smarter than human machines, all bets are off. You can't know what's going to happen. While some warn about AI's dark future, others emphasize how beneficial intelligent machines can be. We've worked with kids with disabilities and sensors to help them access the computer. We embedded motion sensors in Legos, for example, for a child with cerebral palsy, enabling them to explore and manipulate their environment. Using machine-made intelligence to compensate for human disabilities is already underway and quickly expanding. I already wear contact lenses. As soon as my contact lens can give me an augmented reality overlay of the real world, I'll be right there with it. Those are natural progressions of where we take technology and use it in our body, around our body, in our environment to enhance our capabilities. Whether we should be excited or worried about artificial intelligence owes a lot to our basic assumptions about technology. Everyone assumes that robots can do more than they can. A robot is really pretty stupid. For example, you could teach a robot to navigate buildings and send back that information to the human, but it can't do anything else. And that's a pretty smart robot. But if you want that robot to now play chess or to navigate obstacles, it may not be able to do that. Robots are very narrow in their capability. To match the power of a human brain, a robot would have to process some 38,000 trillion operations a second. But that sort of computing power may be right around the corner, and it's causing some concern among science and technology leaders. It was interesting that Stephen Hawking came out and said, we need to be very worried about the advancement of AI. Elon Musk came out and said, it's probably the greatest existential threat facing mankind. 
We're summoning the demon. We're opening the bottle, and we're not going to be able to get the genie back. The superintelligence will be able to develop weapons that we don't even understand. It won't take long for something thousands or millions of times more intelligent than we are to rapidly take control of all of the infrastructure of the planet. In the near future, people may choose to reboot their own biology with an AI upgrade. Transhumans are very much in favor of AI development because they look at it as enhancing their own brains. They want to put nanobots in their blood to cleanse it of impurities or to improve on red blood cells so that you could store enough oxygen to swim underwater all day. They're trying to improve themselves beyond the limitations of the human body. I believe the ability to augment ourselves will progress faster than the ability to augment machines. In the future, we will be the machines. We will be the ones controlling smart machines, not smart machines controlling us. Developing any technology, even for good uses, can have unintended consequences. For decades, Luddites have warned robots would eventually put most humans out of work, creating many serious problems. Those fears have largely gone unfounded. But some economists see troubling signs now. And everywhere you look, from the cockpit to the operating room, robots are taking control. At some point, simply shutting them off may no longer be an option. When we develop superintelligence, the computers, they may not run on power as we know it. They may be gathering their own power. So unplugging a computer or unplugging intelligence is going to be very soon impossible because it'll be ubiquitous, it'll be all around us. We began our human journey using tools. Today, experiments with electronic circuitry and software algorithms are attempting to duplicate nothing less than the intricate web of neurons in the human brain. If we create a machine as smart as our, ourselves, they'll do everything that we do but they'll do it better because they're, they're machines that can do it faster, they can do it longer, they don't have to stop for naps or pizza. And then you'll have a self-aware, self-improving machine who, with successive iterations, will improve its intelligence far beyond ours. If it happens, where will that leave us? Will we be sharing the planet someday with the very tools we once created? Will they even be inclined to share it with us? In the short term, we have to worry about who controls the AI. In the long term, we have to worry about can the AI be controlled at all.